With an inhale, let's come into plank. Two or three breaths, if it's okay. We'll lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down. So we're just going to play with cobra. So that we're squeezing the elbows towards one another, inhaling up. It could be a little baby cobra for sure. Exhaling down. So just go with your breath a few times. And now let's work the back muscles. So we'll inhale into a baby cobra. Make sure it's a little itty bitty baby. And then we can see if maybe we can take the hands off the mat. Squeeze the elbows behind the back. A few breaths. Next inhale. Can we see if we can lift up just a little higher? Maybe pushing the hips into the floor. Lifting up through the heart and the head. And then with the exhale, make a pillow with the hands. Rest the head. Let's pigeon toe the feet. Turn the toes towards one another. Five breaths. Breathing super deep with the earth, like forcing the breath into the belly. Okay, let's put the tops of the feet back on the floor. We'll do our little hamstring curls. So basically just bending one leg, inviting the foot towards the bum, putting it back down, other leg, heel towards the bum. So you could flex the foot or it could be pointed. We can stay with the head resting down on the hands. Or if this feels very comfortable, you could maybe come into a sphinx. So see what works better for today. The important thing is uh, bending the legs. Breathe through it any way you like. Uh, you could inhale as you bend, exhale lower, or the other way around. Other way around. As usual, we find what feels good for today. We'll do a, we'll do a few more. Okay, last few. All right, we can release. We'll come on to the back. So any way that makes sense for you, I'm just gonna roll. Oh, and make sure you have one block close by. All right, so once we arrive, we'll just have the feet flat on the floor. We have our block close by. So the plan is shoulders and then half bridges, twists, and then relaxation. And maybe we'll sneak in a couple more things. We'll see. Okay, so we get comfy. So starting with the shoulders, we'll hold the block between flat hands. So we're not really using the thumbs to hold onto the block. They're kind of sticking out if that, if that works, like little pancake hands. We'll bring the block right up on top of the shoulders. And then we'll slowly start to lower the block behind the head. Only go as far as it's comfortable for today, especially if it's a heavy block. If you get all the way behind the head and the thumbs can touch the floor, that's perfect. And if not, that's perfect too. So once you get as far as you can comfortably go, you come back up. So we'll just keep doing that a few times. If you get so low that the thumbs can touch the floor, 
We want to try to touch them both at the same time. So just find your rhythm. Oh yeah, another thing, we want to try to avoid popping the lower ribs forward. So we want to keep those low ribs tucked in as much as we can. And again, try to touch the thumbs if they're touching at the same time. Even if they're not touching, the idea is we want to be moving both arms at the same rate. Okay, we'll just do two more. Once you're happy with that, ooh, just set the block aside. Okay, so now we have the idea of the arms moving at the same rate. So we're going to keep that idea, but we won't have the block anymore. We'll place the feet comfortably about hip width apart. They could be close to the bum or farther away. The distance is really up to you. And we're going to do some uh, pelvic lifts and the arms at the same time. So we'll inhale the pelvis up, arms up. So we try to move the arms at the same rate. Maybe bringing them behind the head. We exhale, pelvis down, arms come down. So we just take our own time. And of course, we only lift as much as is comfortable for today. Let's do another two or three. And from here, we'll move into a supported bridge. So I suggest moving the feet closer to the bum if they're farther away. Grab onto your block. So we'll lift the pelvis. So you decide how high you want the block to be. It could be flat, it could be like level two height, or it could be the highest height. So you decide, we'll lift the pelvis, slide it under, right underneath the sacrum. And then we'll rest into the block. So we'll take two or three breaths, just kind of doing nothing. And now we can add a little more engagement. So we can engage the buttocks muscles. And let's see if it works for today. Maybe we can inhale one leg up. It could just stay bent or it can come up all the way exhale down if you need to take more than one breath no problem so we'll just go side to side lifting one leg either bent or straight and then coming back down so go at your own pace and if uh, the leg lifting doesn't feel good for today no problem you could just stay in the supported bridge
Now from here, we can see if it's comfortable, if we can lift both legs. So adjust the block if you need to. Make sure it's nicely underneath the sacrum. You feel really well supported. Remember, the knees could be bent. You could have just the knees up to the sky, or the legs could be straight. We're going to try for 10 breaths, so make sure you're comfortable wherever you are. Not much to do here. We hold the structure and then relax into it. Feel ready to come down, bring the feet to the earth one at a time or together, and then just rest on the block another two or three breaths before we take it away. And then pressing into the feet. We lift the pelvis enough to slide the block out. And we'll go into our twist. So whatever you want to do with the arms, some kind of open position, knees to chest. Actually, before we do the twist, let's just pump the knees a little bit. So hands on the knees, knees away from us. We inhale, pull in, exhale, go with your breath. All right, so knees to chest, open the arms side to side any way that feels good for today. It could be knees together, knees apart. It could be knees close to chest, or if you want to work on your core more, it could be more like 90 degree legs or um, even closer to straight. But whatever you're doing, make sure the shoulders stay on the floor and that it feels good. We're winding down, getting ready for Shavasana. more. I forgot to mention, if you want to add the head, you can always turn the head away from the knees. Thank you so much for joining Selena Yoga Jams. Please like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Take care.